Hey everybody, today we're going to be seeing how strong real spider silk is. Is it actually stronger than steel? So I found this nice spider silk in my backyard garden. Now I'm pretty sure that this is dragline silk. Now dragline silk is the silk that spiders use to connect the spider web to wherever they put the spider web. So in this case, the spider web is connected to the tomato plants, but the dragline silk is holding that up. So the test that I'm going to be doing today is to actually measure the tensile strength of the dragline silk in place as it's naturally put in my garden. And I'm going to be doing that by putting little tiny soft weights on it and then measuring how many it can withstand before it breaks. And then what I'm going to do is get some steel wire and it's going to be a thicker diameter than the silk wire but what I'm going to do is take some heavier weight such that the force per square area on the steel wire is going to be the same as on the silk. And we're going to be seeing if the steel wire breaks before the silk. The steel wire that I'm going to be using is 22 gauge steel wire. And the average diameter that I'm going to be using for the silk drag line of the spider is around five microns. And the weights that I'm going to be using on my spider silk are these pipe cleaners that I've cut into fourths and they weigh 0.14 grams per fourth. So each one that I put on there is 0.14 grams. And that's the equivalent of one of these five pound weights if I change the thickness of the silk to the thickness of the 22 gauge steel wire. So the cross-sectional area of the steel wire is around 16,000 times the cross-sectional area of the silk. So that means I need to multiply my weight by around 16,000 and I get around five pounds. So I'm gonna be using these five pound weights to be the equivalent of one of those fourth of pipe cleaners. Okay, let's put our first weight on our spider silk. One. Okay, you can see it dangling there. Okay, it held up. Now let's try our steel wire. Okay, here's one. Okay, let's do a second one on the spider silk. Still holding. Two. Let's put a second one on the steel. Two. It's holding it. Okay, put our third and fourth spider weight on. Three. Four. Then let's add our third and fourth steel wire weight. This is 10 pounds, so that's the equivalent of two of these now. <laughs> so that's four. Okay, let's add our fifth and sixth one on the spider silk. Five, wow. That's pretty amazing. I did not know it would hold this many. Okay, it's still holding it. This is amazing. Six. Look how strong it is already. Okay, let's add our fifth and sixth one on the steel wire. Six. <laughs> it couldn't even hold six and it broke. So we'll give it the benefit of the doubt and say it could hold six of these. Okay, let's just keep going and see how high the spider silk can actually get. Seven. Eight. Wow, okay, I need to go make more. I did not know it would hold this many. Okay, here's nine. Here's 10. Eleven. Twelve. Okay. Oh, twelve. I think I could have got thirteen on, but we'll say twelve for now. That's amazing. Okay, so in the end, I don't even know if we actually broke the spider silk. It might have become disconnected from the leaf itself. I couldn't tell. But we're going to say that it could hold around 12 of those weights. Now that's the equivalent of 428 megapascals. 
Now depending on the type of steel, the name steel has a broad range depending on the type of alloy it is. Some specific alloys of steel, and if you have them in braided wire, can get as high as 2,000 megapascals. But for regular grade steel, the spider web is around two times as strong. But that's not even the whole story. I was comparing to just the cross-sectional area. Now the steel is much heavier than the spider silk. The density of steel is around 8 grams per centimeter cubed but the density of spider silk is only one gram per centimeter cubed. So if you're going based on a strength to weight ratio or even a cross-sectional area ratio, the silk is going to beat the steel every time. So based on this test, how thick of spider silk would I need to hold myself up? I would only need a strand that has a diameter of one millimeter. Let's say I were Spider-Man and I used my own experiment to make my own webs. Whoa, look at that. It just keeps coming. That's so cool. Well, I wouldn't need to shoot these huge webs out of my arms. In fact, I'd only need a web about this thick. So if this were spider silk, this could easily hold over my entire weight on it. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you have any comments or questions, let me know in the comments section. And check out theactionlab.com if you haven't seen it yet, where you can see the Action Lab experiment boxes and experiment book. And if you haven't subscribed yet, remember to hit the subscribe button. And also you can click the bell so that you can be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.